practically painless, we can do this. That seems like a viable choice. That worked out nicely enough. Okay, almost back to the secret area. From here we just have to get through part one, and we can pause. Thankfully a fairly quick path. Let's see here. Okay, invisibility, Elexord, area steel, fast custom, and custom sword. Maybe that'll work out. That worked decently enough. Okay, and with that, we're in Secret Area 2. So, refreshing pause. Alright, time to see if we can't wrap this up. Time to find the last two Navis. First up is Napalm Man, in the second part of the World 3 net. For him, we need to take the fourth path. So, here we go. Oh, we have some viruses in the way, though. Let's see here. Probably not gonna get anything really good off of this, but at least it's out of the way quickly enough. And here we have Napalm Man. The thing to keep in mind with Napalm Man is he is indeed Heat Element. So that does give him a definable weakness. And we can go ahead and do this to him as well. Let's see. I would really like to have a few more boosts before using Freeze Man there. That's definitely what I have in mind. Oh, you just had to get in the way, Napalm Man. You, sir, are a pest. Let's see. Fire, Aqua, Elec. Actually, Area Steel first. Then we'll hit him with that. Make sure he can't get away from it. I would hope that this'll hit him enough times. Go for it, Freeze Man. Freeze Man, you fail. Oh well, I have another Life Sword advance. But still, I was really hoping to finish him off with Freeze Man. That would have been nice. Oh well. Go to all this trouble talking about your weakness to Aqua Element, and then Freeze Man does that. Oh well, at least we have Napalm Man's chip now, and it looks pretty cool. I love that design. Okay, so we're done with Napalm Man, but unfortunately we have to take the long way around to get to where we can find Planet Man. So, up the third path we go, just like we did last time. on to World 3 Area Part 3. To find Planet Man, we need to go down to where that locked Grass Stage H was. Can I have Spice 3, please? There we go. If I didn't have it before, I have it now. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
spent time to deal with Planet Man. Hmm. Okay, this time it looks like he's packing an Elect Planet and an Aqua Planet. Huh, that's a bit of a problem. I'll go ahead and pack that to try and get rid of the Aqua Planet at least. In higher versions, his planets orbit a bit faster, so you do have to be watchful of that. Okay, fire, aqua, elec, and that. Full custom is a good thing to have. Oh, how did that not hit his little spaceship? Okay, let's paralyze you out of that right quick and in a hurry. Ah, oh, so close yet so far. Okay, he's replacing his planets. One of which I can at least get rid of just with the buster. Invisibility again, definitely a good thing. Still not quite what I'm after. Uh, they're really wanting to make me nervous here. Hopefully this will at least stun him out of doing his black hole move. Okay, he is almost done, and Toadman can finish him off. There we go. At long last, after he got that hit on me the first time, REVENGE! And with that, we get a Planet Man chip, and that one looks pretty cool too, actually. Nice design. So with that, we've recruited all the Navis, we've made some good progress here. I'm actually going to cut it here for now, because... All that's really left at this point is to do a chip grind of destiny as promised, and that's going to take me a little bit, so I'll be working on that and posting these videos so that I can at least get something up for people to enjoy. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the videos, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.